the overall trends is that uh, the, the technology and the development of the technology uh, on the infrastructure side is that it's getting uh, more accessible, kind of cheaper and more commoditized, the infrastructure side. Add on top of it the cloud services, okay, and it commoditized this, uh, commoditized that aspect uh, more. Uh, also, it gets cheaper to, to hardware and software get cheaper. Uh, what doesn't change, and where the, the origins of UH and the current UH and the future UH is that we always focused on services. Services is when you take technology that's available, but make it for make it work for the client. And the client cannot take a raw technology and, and what are they going to do with a, with a CD and say, there is a CD, you've got all the software that you need here. They wouldn't know. Taking it and making it work for the client, looking after it, maintaining it, supporting it, upgrading it, and making sure it works 99.9% uh, uh, of the time is what we do. Uh, and in any case, the value add of taking a hardware and delivering it to the client is minimal, and we don't see it exciting at all in terms of, in terms of the future. We do do it, but we do it as a more of a, as a defensive strategy, so others that sell hardware wouldn't come to our space. So we don't, you know, we don't get the competition to to go into it. But in terms of the the value add to the client, the majority of it lies in the services that we provide. And that's really the services, is knowledge, is skills, is experience, is IP. That's what we get paid for. Uh, and as you can see, the trend in EOH has been, uh, has been the growth of, of services uh, throughout our, uh, our existence. And we see that pattern, that trend uh, going forward. So it's relevant to us, but it's relevant also the, to the industry. And that's why you find people who are predominantly or came from their origin is is infrastructure finding it harder harder to to, to, to to survive on it and they would obviously wish to go into into services which is very very different culture different nature different type of people different way of managing managing the organization they, they are both in the same sphere but underneath it the essence of, of of running an infrastructure business or a services business, it's different. We do both and we understand how they do differ. Just uh, on your edge, we are, we are the largest enterprise applications, which are where the big services components come in, into, into play. And even in the past, uh, when you bought an application, uh, you would say that you would spend half of the time, half of the cost in buying the application, half in, in implementing it, which is the services component. Today, the ratio went to, to one to four or one to five, because uh, knowledge still uh, this, you know, gets the, the premium it, uh, it, I think, uh, deserves. So therefore, being the largest uh, implementer of enterprise applications obviously plays to the services side of our business and are wanting to uh, to grow it. And also more strategic for clients' point of view. The client does not care the, what the hardware is, cares how does the business benefits from technology. And that's where we interface with clients. Mm -hmm.